the greatest golfer in the world, Severiano Ballesteros. Said he had a lot of imagination. Just fantastic. He was more like an artist painting on a beautiful canvas. Touch of class, baby. When I decided I wanted to make a, a sporting movie, the obvious one, since I used to play a lot of golf when I was younger, was golf. And then the next obvious thing was, right, who's the most charismatic uh, golfer of the lot, right? Um, well, Seve Ballesteros, so, so far so good. Then the big thing that happened, I didn't really know about his life. And when I found about his life through talking to various people who knew him, whether it's caddies, whether it's this, whether it's that. So I found out about, about his life, which is very much rags to riches. And basically, unlike, say, Senna, whose father always said yes because multimillionaires, with their old Seve, everyone was saying, no, you can't have this, you can't have that. You know, and in the end, because uh, young Seve is moaning away so much to keep him quiet, they give him a club head. Since I started playing golf when I was just five years old, Seve has always been my idol, but not just because he was probably one of the best golfers ever. That obviously is true too, but because he was from Pedreña, that is just five kilometers far from Santander, where I live nowadays. Seve has always been like the master that I tried to be like, but it was difficult in the way that he was such a unique player who showed us such a great effort, hard work, willpower, and the value of never giving up to see your dreams in life come true. Seve wasn't a one-way ticket. He had charisma, he had style, and what one found out, right, he had intelligence. So fortunately, I've got a young version here, <laughs> but I'm afraid he'll never be quite the same golfer. <laughs> If I say the truth, I have never dreamed with being an actor or something like that. But after all this, I, I have to say that it's better than all I have dreamed.